My name is Lindsay Kernut, and this is On Air with Heritage Action, where we break down in five minutes or less how you can get involved today in the fight for conservative values. Hello, Happy New Year, and welcome back to another episode of On Air with Heritage Action. Today, we are joined by RJ Gibson. He is the manager of Senate relations for Heritage Action. And we're going to be discussing really what's going on with Senator Joe Manchin from West Virginia and what's happening with BBB, that whole thing. So he claims that he doesn't support BBB, and then he does. So we're going to get into it. So RJ, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Excited to be on. Yeah, yeah, this will be great. So let's start with this past Sunday. Axios, a um, news organization in D.C., scooped that Senator Joe Manchin has returned to negotiations on that Build Back Better bill despite his public opposition to the bill in December. So Heritage Action quickly released a statement calling on West Virginians to urge Manchin to not support this bill or anything in it, really step away from the negotiation table. But earlier, just today, actually, a couple hours ago, Manchin told the press, quote, I'm not going to talk about BBB because I think that I've been very clear on that. There's no negotiations at this time. So RJ, can we trust him? What's really going on? Let's really get into it. Yeah. um, Everything you've said so far is right. Um, It's kind of unclear exactly what's going on, uh, I think, to the general public. So, you know, this dance between Manchin and the rest of Democrats in Congress um, over BBB has been going on for a while, you know, really since the end of last spring when this whole discussion started. So the bottom line, though, is is that Joe Manchin, he knows what he wants. um, And in fact, we know what he wants because he's laid that out for us in a document that he shared with uh, Chuck Schumer in August. Um, it didn't get released until October, but um, you know it laid out exactly what he wants to see in a package, uh, and that you know it's it's still really bad um, from you know a conservative standpoint. He wants to spend uh, up to one point five trillion dollars, uh, and he wants to raise taxes on Americans and American businesses by at least that much. Um, you know those. Those tax increases are going to be uh, really bad right now, especially. They're going to kill jobs, um, and they're going to you know, continue to uh, to damage the economy. So he also wants to spend that money on climate provisions and, um, you know, a hodgepodge of welfare policies, which are going to continue to disincentivize work. Um, and so all of that put together is going to contribute significantly to – an increase in inflation that we're already seeing and, uh, you know, continue to, to make it harder for, for businesses to find and keep workers. Yeah. And I, I really don't think the people of West Virginia right now want Joe Manchin to focus on Green New Deal style policies that are going to kill industries in West no, Virginia. Is that right? No, that's absolutely right. You know, it's bad for West Virginia because these climate provisions, um, you know, they're ultimately going to, going to make those jobs, uh, in West Virginia and in energy, um, non-existent. And it's also bad for all Americans because it's going to continue to increase the price of energy uh, for their personal use. So if mm-hmm. you if you've really been frustrated by, um, you know, going to the gas tank and seeing gas at at kind of all time highs. And if you've been frustrated when you get your heating bill at the end of the month this winter, uh, you know, this this package is only going to make those things worse. And, and when I say this package, I'm talking about the things that Joe Manchin himself has said he he would be willing to support. Yeah. Um, and, 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 you know, ultimately, if if Democrats, if the rest of the Democratic Party agrees to to support um, what he's put together, Joe Manchin will will likely support that. So we need to continue to keep the pressure on him. Yeah, exactly. I mean, let's get back to that deal that you talked about. There's this letter that Manchin and Schumer signed, this deal of that one point five trillion dollar number with those different policies that Manchin supported. They signed that back in July, mm-hmm. but kind of what we're saying, what you're saying now, and what we saw last fall is that they had this deal kind of on the back burner, just in case they kind of couldn't get BBB across the line if they needed Mansion to do it. So, public didn't hear about that until September. They they hid that behind the scenes. So keep that in mind when we hear from Mansion talking about how he doesn't support BBB. Um, Heritage Action said this before Christmas when he came out in opposition to the bill. We have to be wary of his intentions here. I mean, at the end of the day, Senator Manchin is a Democrat. He is, he is not a friend to the conservative values or, or the fight for those values. So that's why we've had our activists kind of call Congress and rally and, and attend rallies in Charleston, that sort of thing, because um, he needs to listen to his constituents. So 
that's really what we're doing now. We got to keep the pressure on them. Um, look, West Virginians don't want BBB. And despite what Joe Manchin says, we still have to acknowledge that this bad bill is still alive. And conservatives have to keep up this fight against really whatever version of the bill Schumer and Manchin agree on. So today's action items, if I can, um, if you live in West Virginia, that's that's perfect. You need to call Manchin. If he hears from you, that's that's really going to help decision making process. And that's what senators care about. So we're going to give you his D.C. office number just so you so you can have it and, and call him today. Call him right now. His number is 202 Two two four three nine five four. So that's where we'll see the most amount of impact. But if you don't live in West Virginia, get anyone you know in West Virginia. Call up your families, maybe distant relatives, text your friends, let them know what's going on with BBB, educate them on the issues, and have them call that number, 202-224-3954. Or you can share this podcast with them, and, and you can give them all the info there. So Learn more at heritageaction.com slash action. As always, did you have any final thoughts, RJ? No, I think you covered it. Um, you know, the, I think you're absolutely right. The pressure has to stay on. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't won this fight despite what, you know, happened at the kind of before Christmas with what Joe Manchin said. So um, you're absolutely right. Keep the pressure on. Keep, keep calling. Keep letting him know that uh, he, he can't support this package. Great. Yeah. Yeah, we're still in this fight. So thanks so much for joining us. And thank you for listening at home. Thanks for having me. That's it for another episode of On Air with Heritage Action. Thank you for tuning in. Share this episode with your friends and be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Rumble to stay in the know and up to date with Heritage Action. And one last thing, if you'd like to get updates on the podcast sent straight to your phone, text PODCAST to 51776. That's PODCAST to 51776.